So this is the Halo View Handy 7, which is a total wireless system. No drilling, wiring free because the camera has a battery built in and it's got a strong magnetic attachment so that you can just stick it to your vehicle if that has like metal that's magnetic. So we're going to test that out how strong that is. And um, it says high resolution, it says 720p. Uh, there are some higher resolution cameras out there that are 1080p. But I think 720 is probably fine for this size screen. Range up to 984 feet. Uh, that will probably be a little bit less if there's something in the way because it says line of sight. Here are all the features. Let's unpack this. Okay. So let's see what's inside the box. All right. User manual and here we got the system components. That's the screen, I assume. There it is. Very nice. This is a good size. Really good size screen there. Comes with two antennas. One is probably for the camera and one is for the screen. Then we have power for the screen as a 12 volt plug. Some more power adapters and another power adapter. I don't know what that is for. And then the brackets, I guess, to attach the screen to your dash. Okay, that's nice. This is nice metal. This is probably like a glare shield. So a power adapter, I assume it's for charging the camera. And um, suction cup mount for the screen. Some more hardware right there. And now let's get to the actual camera. Wow, it's heavy. This is uh, heavier than I thought, so I assume the, um, the battery in there should last a while. But yeah, there's the camera. That's the attachment for one of the antennas. And then this is, this is kind of like a rubbery bottom, which is probably magnetic, and the back as well, I assume. So let's see if we have something here. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that is a strong magnet. Okay, and then a back too. Yep. So this is very exciting because I'm not uh, that keen on drilling holes and running wires to the back of the vehicle. So we'll see how that works out. There's an on off button, um, several LEDs probably show the charge. We'll set this up and see how it works. All right, so uh, I took a little look into those manuals. So one of them is actually for the screen and the other one is for the camera. And I noticed with the packing list that there's something else in here that I had over overlooked, which is these two plates, um, which are metal. And on the back side, they have a strong adhesive. So you could attach that to your, you know, RV um, outside skin and then attach the camera to that because these, these uh, metal plates um, with that magnet, that this is like very strong. So I, uh, I assume that will work well. The next thing is I did actually attach the wall outlet um, which gives you this outlet and all the other uh, devices here have kind of like the same inputs and outputs and there's actually one extension here um, that splits it into two. So I can stick one into the camera to charge right there. It lights up and shows you the state of charge. There's also another adapter here that transforms it into this kind of connector and it's going into the screen right here. Let me turn that on. Oh yeah, there you go. And it's already paired. And we hear actually sound. This is a good start. So <laughs> now I actually attach the camera to our bumper, which on our RV is luckily steel. So it's magnetic and I didn't have to apply anything. I just set it there and I'll show you that here in a minute. 
Right now, the sun, unfortunately, is right in the back there, so there's quite a glare, but um, we'll try that again in the morning when the sun is on the other side, and then I'll also show you exactly how that looks like on the outside. So this is the next morning, and here's how easy it is to attach the camera to a, a steel bumper or something like that. Holds very well. And you have many options. Because it's magnetic, you could attach it directly to the hitch and just watch the ball. And the camera is also, you can adjust the angle. So you see that view right here from on top of the bumper when the camera is tilted down. So here's another test where I just moved the camera to the back of our car. And I took it for a ride on a pretty rough dirt road to see if it's if it's holding up and it did perfect, as you can see. So let's take a look at the uh, monitor of the Halo View system as well as the menu options. The display is quite bright. I don't know if that translates here, but uh, I'm sure you could easily see this even if uh, you have this mounted to your dash and it's very bright outside. Um, I don't see any issues with that. Then uh, you have uh, on the lower left here, that's a little bit difficult to see, there's a speaker, small speaker. Then you have buttons here for the menu system. Select left, menu, right, OK, and the on, off button. And so let's take a look at the menu when you press the buttons you hear a pretty nice loud click and we're in the menu and then you can with these left and right buttons you can select the item you want to edit uh, here I have the volume selection I go in there and there you can change the volume level of the built-in microphone of the camera and you can also mute it and this is like one of the things that I would like to see um, done a little bit differently because it takes, so you go into the menu, then you have to select the mute and you have to select it again and then change it. And now you can hear a little bit the, the, the wind noise out there. Yeah, so to change it, you have to do quite a few menu steps. I wish this was like um, something that's on the front panel. There is some... Uh, double settings for these buttons among them is uh, the brightness here so if you just uh, press the left and right buttons you get like a brightness adjustment um, the select button here on the left um, you can select different camera views now obviously i have only one camera here to test this uh, but yeah so it would be nice to have that mute button actually on one of these or change it like for example the ok button when you're not in the menu switches on and off the recording so recording is running if i press the ok button again it stops the recording um, it would be nice if you could select that in the settings that the ok button actually does the mute and unmute of the microphone so let's look at the other options here so there's picture, which uh, then you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and color. Then we have the mirror function, which gives you a true mirror. It gives you the, the regular view or even upside down if the camera is mounted upside down for any reason. Uh, I usually leave it in the uh, true mirror mode, which then when the when it's uh, mounted at the back of the vehicle, then it functions similar to as if you had a mirror that would look out the back window. Next menu option here is the Q mode, which is the style, how it's presented if you have several cameras. You can select between several splits here and then even down here up to quad view, four cameras. Um, and some options for that. If you have them, if you have two of the cameras mounted, like side view mirrors, you can select quad two and quad three, which would give you that kind of option. Then we have settings. 
date and time that's uh, saved with the videos camera setups pal and ntscs and auto dim function and at night it dims down the uh, brightness so you're not being blinded by the screen <laughs> All right, then we have auto scan. That is if you have several cameras, I cannot test that. Um, then this is an interesting feature. This gives you kind of like parking lines. Turn these on and then you see these. There's options to adjust them left and right, up and down on the screen. But what's missing here is kind of like a tilt function. So you cannot change the angle of the lines, which I think would be helpful. Then there's the record mode, recording in the background. You can format the SD card. You can turn the recording on and off here. And then this mode here allows you to do a cycle recording. If the card fills up, it would delete the oldest recording. However, the files are very small. And if you have a 32 or 64 gigabyte card, it would take ages to fill that up before it would cycle. Here's a mode to replay videos that were previously recorded. So you can go in there and select different uh, dates that were recorded and then play these back. All right, and then uh, last but not least, there's like a pairing function that helps you to select all the cameras that you have in your system and make sure that they're all uh, talking to the monitor here. And that's it for the monitor and the menu functions. So, what do I think about the Halo View Handy 7? I think it's a fabulous and versatile system. It's super easy to install and use. There's no wires to lay or anything like that. Just put the camera on the back of the vehicle and you're ready to go. Uh, it's portable between different vehicles. That's an important part because uh, if you had a wired system, you could not take it to another car or RV or truck. The monitor is really big and nice. It's a beautiful picture. It's good picture quality with the monitor during daytime. Uh, there's lots of display options. If you have several cameras, you have several ways of viewing them, up to four at the same time. It has a solid build quality. There's a built-in microphone with audio transmission. So if you have somebody in the back guiding you, they can actually talk to you. On the wish list side, I'd like to see a dedicated mute unmute button instead of diving into the menu options. It would be nice if the battery status of the camera could be also displayed on the monitor and also an option to record higher quality video. So that's my review for the Halo View Handy 7.